Oh, a penguin teams up with a man. Oh, God. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming Jay, and today we're hopping into a tactical role playing game on the PS2. This is Disgaea. <laughs> Don't know how to pronounce that. Fun fact we've actually played Disgaea, Disgaea, Disgaea uh, 2 uh, a long time ago, and so long ago that I actually forgot. I knew I'd played the game based on the title, but I forgot exactly what it was. So, a uh, tactical role playing game basically means. Now, we're going to have a team of characters who go into battle and stuff, but rather than just lining up in a row like Final Fantasy and taking shots, attacking one another, there will actually be a board that we have to move characters around on, um, and we have to get near enemies to attack them. If enemies clump up, maybe we can do some AoE attacks on them and so on. So I like tactical RB RPGs because they kind of combine like a war simulator or, well, I mean, a tactical combat game with a role-playing game. So I really like the idea behind RPGs. Uh, this Gaia here, I have no idea how to pronounce it. Apparently, it's some kind of Japanese manga that licensed itself out for games. It has sort of a bit of wit and humor to it. Um, maybe it will be lost on me. Maybe it won't. Uh, I guess we'll just sort of have to play and see how that goes. Uh, but I'm like I'm liking the graphics so far actually this sort of background here this uh, You know scene that they're showing us you got greens and blues and oranges And you got like a mystical world that's been ravaged. It's pretty cool looking actually um, I also remember or I guess I saw when I looked this game up there are penguins that we're gonna be fighting so um, I think either our opponents or us are evil penguins. So that's the thing in this game um, apparently but anyway, here we are, uh, our main character, shirtless devil girl person. I don't know. I don't know who she is. Oh my God. There's like a minigun behind her, a scimitar, a ball and chain and a drill weapon. I am liking the direction this RPG is taken already. All right. So her friend will not wake up. Oh, she's going to blast her with a laser gun. What fool dares awaken me? The great Laharl. Okay, are we going to team up? We have very similar hairstyles, except she went with the traditional pink and I went with modern blue. Uh, I'm glad you're still alive. I was going to kill you. Are we vampires or something? I'm coming out of a coffin, I just noticed. I was taking a nap in a coffin in a castle that seems to be burning down. Makes sense. All right, so I've noticed the weapons. Things are getting a little awkward. I was having a hard time waking up. I was going to hit you with a minigun to try and wake you up. You know, cut your head off with a scimitar. You know, traditional wake-up things. Forgot to bring the alarm clock, though. All right, what, what? why did you wake me up, girl? Big news. Your father, King Krachevskoy, has died. King Krachevskoy? <laughs> Sounds like, uh... What's the guy's name? Krasinski, who played Jim on The Office. Jim's dead! Dwight finally got him. Two years ago, my dad died. Jeez, take your time to wake me up, why don't you? Also, how long was my nap? Hey, can we skip this? <laughs> At this point, the backstory is sufficient. I'm ready to kill things. My dad's been asleep. I'm a vampire or something like that. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so the netherworld. Oh, we're the king of the netherworld, maybe? Okay, so we want to maintain our title as Demon Overlord. Blah, blah, blah. Let me skip ahead here. All right, Etna has joined me. We are going to go prove that we are the Prince of the Netherworld. Episode 1, Prince of the Netherworld. That's what I just said, game. All right, so this is us moving around. Can we pick up these weapons? A cool-looking drill. No, these are just for show. A lovely morning star. Not a single round left. And a nice sword, but it's chipped. Oh, wouldn't want to use a chipped sword. All right, well. Man, my guy walks really fast. <laughs> like, look how fast he moves. And, like, his legs are not moving at the speed with which he is moving. It looks very weird. I don't know, but... Uh, anyway, okay, so let's see if we can fight this demon dog thing. That's just like you, Prince, taking a two-year nap. I only... Uh, planned on napping for about 10 days. Hmm, something's not right. 
Yeah, you know when you go down for those 10-day naps and you nap for two years? <laughs> One of them 10-day into two-year naps. Adrati? Do we fight anything or are we just... These are all the monsters that are on our side, I guess. They're not they're not evil like those dastardly penguins. So, all right, Goss. Good morning, Prince. How are you feeling? Couldn't be worse. My body feels really stiff from sleeping too much. Why don't you warm up on the tutorial map? Go see the dimensional gatekeeper. Is that this guy, Gargo? In order to prevent intruders, I've closed all the gates. Please talk to the dimensional gatekeeper. Yeah, whatever. Okay. So, dimensional... If I were a dimensional gatekeeper... Where would I be? How about over here? Maybe. Oh, hello. This this is kind of cool, actually, because sort of it's it's a 2D slash 3D game. Like, the environments are in 3D, but the characters are sprites. And so, like, the world can, like, zoom in and rotate angles, as you just saw there when we zoomed in on this store. So it is kind of retro because it's pixel art, but it's, like, 3D. It's kind of neat. Anyway, items can be purchased at the Rosin Queen Co. Netherworld branch. Each character can equip up to four items. Character can equip one weapon and three other items. Monsters can only equip weapons from the Monsters Only Weapons category. All right, it's best to equip weapons that suit a character's inherent strengths. Yeah, like that zoom there was kind of cool, actually. All right, welcome to the Rosen Queen Company Netherworld branch. Here, we here at Rosen Queen work hard day and night to offer a selection of merchandise customers will want. Our selection is constantly changing. If you don't find something you want, try coming back at a later time. Please take your time. All right, we have... I don't know how much money we have. Possibly nothing or 300. Oh, we have 300. Okay, so we could buy like amulets and protectors and stuff. <laughs> Etc. armor, baseball equipment. <laughs> Wait, we can... Or a base or a bulletproof vest. You go from base from loose baseball equipment to a bulletproof vest. Okay. Um, where are the weapons though? We really have to scroll through everything. Mint gum recovers hit points and candy, berry dust. That's cocaine. Stealing hand useful in stealing items, especially for thieves. Is that literally like a monkey's paw? It's like somebody else's hand. Um. Okay. Uh, should we buy something? Okay, let's buy an amulet, I guess. Raises defense ever so slightly. All right, let, it's only 30. Do you want to buy it? Yes. Now, uh, how do we equip it is the thing. Okay, equip main guy. Oh, look, he's got, uh, wait, what happened there? Um, he's got a common sword and imperial seal. An emblem that signifies demon nobility. Okay, we're going to pop that amulet on, too. Okay. Should we buy a few more things? Hold on. Let's uh, check the status of Etna here. She's also wearing an amulet, and she has a common spear. Not one of those exciting rare spears, but a common spear. All right, let's uh, actually wait. I think weapons are on the other side here. We talked to her. The weapon shop. Oh, here we go. Um, Let's... Take a look. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so basically every character is a specialty. Try and buy weapons to suit their specialty. Look, the Iron Lance. Here we go. Why don't we upgrade her spear for her? Let's go all in on the spear, maybe. How about that? The Knight's Lance. Hmm. Uh, actually, let's buy her an Iron Lance. And I'm trying to figure out like how to best spend my money here. So you're going to upgrade to this. Ooh, it goes from attack 10 to attack 19. It's actually pretty good. Now I kind of want a, a weapon for my, my dude. Okay, we're going to do it. Welcome to the queen, blah, blah, blah. I was going to buy armor, but now I'm sort of like, why not go all in on something awesome, you know? Short sword. Sword breaker. Oh, I don't have enough for that. Okay, my, my screen keeps glitching. I don't know if you guys are noticing this. I don't know what that, that is about. I'm going to chalk it up to the old retro game experience. So enjoy the screen glitches today. Um, Let's do this. This one has an attack of 11. We're going to do it. All right, I don't know if I'm making good rational decisions here. But Laharl, do that. Oh, and you know what I could do? I can uh, sell my unused uh, weapons now. 
can sell this and I can sell this. Boom. We're wheeling and dealing, guys. We're making deals. And we're riding wheels. All right, let's buy some uh, baseball equipment here. Let's go with this. All right, we are now poor. That's okay. You got to spend money to make money, right? Um, so her defense goes from 10 to 17, but her speed goes down a little bit. But that's okay. All right, we are now beefed up. Now, what are all these other people? Oh, you know what? There's probably other things I could have spent my money on, and I just wasted all my money. Netherworld Hospital. Here we treat your wounds. We're in the Netherworld. I feel like we should encounter Beetlejuice. Just saying. If the game wants to be cool, they should uh, do that. You can only save in the Overlord's Castle. Okay, who is this? Aura. This is the Item World Gateway Center. We are not open yet. Why is there a random, like, zombie here? Hello, zombie. Eat, sleep, do anything you want all day. It's so good to be a demon. <laughs> that is pretty cool. I like the look of him. Like, look at him. Oh, he's not facing us now. Hold on, let's get him to turn around. Yeah, look at him. He kind of looks like a goblin zombie. Looks really neat, though. The art in this game I quite like. Uh, you know, I will admit, like, manga-style art and stuff is not typically my favorite thing. So, like, actually, the look of the, like, people... Is almost less interesting to me, but that zombie looks awesome. And the store and stuff all... I mean, it all looks good, but... Um, I think I'm not... I'm not like a manga kind of guy, so it's like manga. Some people go nuts over it. I'm just like, yeah, whatever. It's fine. Um, but that zombie looked really cool. Anyway, I'm the Dimensional Gatekeeper. I will input coordinates for your desired destination. Prints. Uh, and you will instantly be transported there. Please select where you'd like to go. I would like to go to the exotic land of Tutorial. It is an ancient Egyptian battlefield. Battle basics. Let's do it. Let's go to school, guys. You know what I like about video games? The fact that it... The, when they simulate the experience of learning. <laughs> Time for a little warm-up. I feel a little rusty. Um, we've got company. Why is the prince wearing no shirt? And why is Etna also shirtless? Is there, like, a rule that demons aren't allowed, like, torso clothing? You know? I don't know. Uh, anyway, oh, look at that. We're fighting ghosts in robes. Stray demons, huh? Allow me, Prince. Allow me, prince. You, may you may be a little out of practice after your long slumber. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Show me how to battle, yo. I'm ready to learn. I'm guessing there's going to be stages of movement and attack. Oh, Edna has got some spunk to her. Oh, she's summoning... Okay, I told you there were penguins. I guess the penguins are on our side, actually. What do you think of this pretty squad? There are penguins wearing fanny patches. <laughs> pouches. That is more embarrassing than mispronouncing fanny pouch. Oh, and they ball they do ballerina pirouettes, <laughs> fall on their face, and get violently ill. Crack team you've got there, Etna. It's okay. With the uh, new armor and stuff I gave you, you'll be... Uh oh my gosh, she's a gun too. Jeez. See? They're loyal. They're loyal... I think they're loyal because they're terrified of you. You got a mean streak, but I like it, Edna. So yeah, the graphics in this are actually really neat how, again, it is sort of 2D because everything is sprite-based. But as you see, like, the camera's rotating around and stuff. Like, this is the kind of direction I wish that, um, you know, games... I mean, you know what? Polygon games are cool. I mean, don't... You know, I'm not saying I wish polygon games didn't exist. But as someone who grew up on, like, NES and Super Nintendo... After Super Nintendo, everything started to go 3D. Like, Mario 64 just went all polygons. I kind of like this blended mode where it's like there's still a lot of pixel art going on. Um, but it's sort of mixed subtly into, like, a 3D engine. I don't know. It's really neat, actually. I, I, I can't think of many games that actually do this. So, anyway. So, stylistically, not into the manga. But stylistically, I love what they did with the sprites in the 3D. So, kind of cancels it. it, it it out, I guess. Uh, anyway, these guys are continuing to talk. Teach me how to battle. <laughs> Just in case you forgot, let me explain. Move the cursor over the base panel and press X to select the characters you wish to dispatch. All right, so here are my options. Oh, it just did that for me. I didn't have a choice, by the way. If you want to cancel an order, dispatch a character, move the cursor over the character and press circle. Okay. Um, oh, it's just moving him for me. All right. For example, if you press O here, 
Oh, uh, you'll go back. I see. You can cancel the action. Now let's issue a command to a dispatch character. First move him or her next to an enemy. Okay, I'm not doing any of this, by the way. It's, it's not even letting me... <laughs> the tutorial is more of a lecture. Just sit back and take notes, really. Uh, select attack on allegory. I like how all the enemies have names. They're not just, you know, faces, cogs in a machine. Um, if you want to execute the action which you've assigned, open the menu and select either execute or end turn. Okay, so let's pick execute. <laughs> oh, almost one shot at that guy. The character attacked. Assign actions. Execute. Remember this, you'll be using it a lot. If you assign action to multiple characters, they will be executed in the order that you assign them. Be careful you can't cancel actions. Okay. After you've done issuing commands, open the menu and, and end your turn. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right, the enemy's turn. Okay, now they're going to attack me in retaliation. Oh, man, she did not position herself well. She just got killed. She killed herself on the tutorial. Um, okay. Well, that was stupid of you. You're the one who's supposed to be showing me how to do it. Only an idiot would rush straight into the enemy alone. You made me do it. Character counter uh, Characters killed in battle, like our prince here, can be revived by paying hell to other castles hospital. Well, so the currency in this game is hell. If all of your dispatch characters are defeated, the game will be over. So the basic idea is to gang up on one character and beat the living daylights out of them. Exactly, Prince. Remember to use your head next time. See, they're kind of having fun with it. They're trying to be sort of uh, playful in the dialogue, so I get it. Team attacks sometimes occur when allies are positioned next to attacking characters. If several characters attack the same enemy in a row, a combo will result in greater damage. Okay, if you want to know more, press triangle from the help menu. All right. Oh, we still are not in control, by the way. All right, now I think we're in control. Stage start. Okay, we get to actually play here. So let's take a look at our characters here. We got this guy's a good with a paw glove. I like how all the penguins come with gloves. Uh, this is a private Prinny, Mustafa, Star, and Ipril. I think they have better attacks than... Oh, my guy's attack is 33. Wow. Okay, five to dispatch. So let's start with this guy. Go, like, uh, over here. And can I bring somebody else out? Yes, I can. I think. Okay, let's bring out some of the cannon fodder. Move him over here. Okay. And let's bring out Etna, I guess. Move her over here. We're going to do some team attacks on this one, guys. And I don't know if you like can only move so many characters or something, and I'm not going to get a chance to attack, but I feel like this is a good strategy. We're sort of forming a line, you know, like in 300. Hold the line! You shall not pass! That wasn't 300, that was Lord of the Rings, but you get the idea. All right, let's attack with this guy, because he is good. And then we'll also attack with her. Uh, oh, you can even attack an ally. That's funny. Bonaparte. <laughs> the bad guy's name is Bonaparte. Funny. Uh, okay, so he can't attack diagonally. Just wanted to check. Attack him. Oh, the other guy's name is Joker. Cool. Like in Batman. All right, time to execute our moves. Oh, a penguin teams up with a man. Oh God, bullseye. Jeez. Oh, double penguin. Oh, interesting. I did that by accident. So if you have an ally next to you when you attack, that ally will also attack or something. That's kind of cool. Um, all right, I guess we uh, just end our turn. So having allies nearby can help you do extra damage. That's pretty cool. So here, let's let's uh, experiment here. So what if the guy is like standing over here, and then we attack uh, this guy? So my my question is, this guy's going to attack this guy. Will this guy help him? And this guy will attack uh, Joker. And let's, I, these, these are cannon fodder guys. Let's just see what happens. Oh, I see. So they team up. Okay, I want to try one more time and have like everyone team up and see what actually happens. Okay, we killed that guy too. Okay, we're going to uh, end our turn here. 
uh, in turn. The enemy can't kill us. They're too weak and frail. Okay, so let's go in for the monster attack. So this guy is going to go over here. This guy is going to go over here. This guy is going to go over here. And I, even I'm going to be there for moral support, my main guy here. All right, Pengu. Show him. Take him to town. Execute. Okay, so it's only people to your left and right. People behind you don't actually count. Oh my god, the screen glitched. Okay, well, the screen glitched out there, but we won. We did technically win. I'm not sure what's going on with my recording today. Kind of annoying. Hopefully we don't get too many of those. Um, so that, that team attack thing is actually kind of cool. It does add a new tactical element to the game. Um, I wish I could just toss them. Why don't you? Can you? Oh! So I think you can throw guys around, yeah, lifting and throwing. For ignorant prince, let me uh, explain the lift and throw commands. You know, if I'm the prince, you should treat me with more respect. Just saying. Um, in a situation like this where you're too far for attacks to reach, what should I do? Oh, another character can throw me. I was thinking about throwing enemies. That's kind of cool. Pick up a character and press lift. And then throw. Huh! That's actually pretty cool. I don't think I've... You know what's funny? Somebody's going to go back and watch my Disagi 2 video and be like, Jay, you learned all this in the previous one. How can you forget? But I think it was like two years ago that I played that other game. And honestly, I've, uh, uh, you know, just don't remember it. So it's kind of cool, actually. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. So lift and throw. Monsters can do it, too. This is very helpful moving around some maps, so don't forget it. That's cool. Holding an enemy so he can't move. Oh, that's kind of cool. So you can, like, grab enemies, too. By the way, printies will explode when they're thrown, so handle them with care. Dude, you gotta be kidding. I like how they spell dude. Uh, all right, if you throw an enemy at an enemy, there may be some fun uses waiting to be discovered. Try experimenting. That's it. I'm going to throw you next time. Oh, and one more thing. A character will take damage after turn ends and he or she is still holding someone. I see. Huh. Okay. So let's... I want to try throwing an enemy into an enemy. They seem to be encouraging that on this kind of a... Who the hell is Leon? The hell? Interesting. Um, all right. Uh, anyway, let's spawn these guys in. So how do I want to do this? Um, I want... I guess we'll do the whole throwing th thing. I don't know, actually. Hold on. Uh, let us spawn in somebody else first. Let's spawn a penguin. Okay, he can only go there. I was just kind of thinking, like, can I do, like, a group attack even? Um, all right. Well, the penguins will form a line. How about that? So let's do this first. Spawn in all my penguin dudes. You guys create a front. And from there, I will throw my I will throw myself like a deadly ballerina out beyond and attack them from behind. Attack their rear. Um, I guess I will go here. And then let's spawn Etna. Oh crap. <laughs> Alright, well, so much for throwing. Alright, well, whatever. We'll uh, deal with throwing in the next uh, the next round. I guess they wanted you to throw forward and, you know, actually attack someone, but... Oh no, they're doing a combo attack on me! No! Oh, two damage, you dick! Okay. How about this? I think we are in prime position to lift up this guy and then throw him oh wait no we can't do that wait what um hold on i want to lift a guy and throw it into another guy okay hold on if she moves over here and then she lifts that guy and then throws him oh here we go oh you have to use the uh you have to use the D-pad to select where you're going to throw. I was trying to use the analog stick. Okay. 
Boom! Level up! Wait, what? <laughs> we leveled him up! <laughs> That's the opposite of what I wanted to have happen. Okay. Well, we're, we're experimenting here. This is the tutorial. And we'll throw... And we'll throw him there. Boom! Oh, we leveled him up! Wait, what? <laughs> is that a good thing? A level 1 has 14 hit points. A level 2 is 22 hit points? We screwed ourselves! <laughs> this is a terrible idea! And we can't even attack now! All right, well, whatever. Let's just surround this guy. 360 degrees. I like how they're like, try throwing a guy into another guy. There will be fun effects. And it's like, the fun effects is they get more powerful. Although I guess one guy absorbed the other, so I don't know. It's kind of like a one-shot kill. Oh, he, that penguin has knives. The penguin, I like how... <laughs> uh, I like the penguin's face when it shows the two of them lining up. Like, it's just they're mad dogging you. They're, like, staring at you with, like, evil eyes. Um, okay. Well, oh no, don't kill the penguin! Oh, they- oh, they totally killed him! Okay, that guy got really powerful. Um, how do we want to do this? Okay, I got an idea. Apparently the penguins explode when you throw them. So what if we do this? They better make a big bomb. We'll go throw... And we're throwing it into the big boy. Boom! Oh, it hurt everybody, even me. Okay. Attack. Waffle. The funny name. And you come over here and attack this guy. All right. So I feel like uh, the team attacks were way better. Throwing enemies just seemed to either backfire and or level up the enemies or damage me <laughs> throwing i guess i'm not very i don't fully know all the ins and outs of throwing but i feel like it was not a good deal oh she counterattacked. that's cool uh attack this guy this guy attack yeah i guess why not or no wait he could just stay there and support her and then i could move over here and then I could attack, too. Boom! All right, this guy's done. Oh, the penguin didn't support her. I, oh, he's supporting me. Okay. Oh, yeah. Bomb to the face. All right, we leveled up. So the tactical stuff... Oh, we got a wristband. The tactical stuff in this game is cool. Um, but obviously, you know, I don't know all the ins and outs uh, yet. So I feel like I'm not very good at it. But I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. All right, now we have enemy boost, 50% geo panels. Interesting, these geographical features that are attuned to the elements of the universe. Okay. Crystallization of those elements results in geo symbols, like the one right here. Man, is it just me, or are you guys seeing like a bunch of glitches too? Okay, I don't see any anymore, I don't know. Oh, they all just, there they are. <laughs> are does the glitches remind you guys of playing old video games like does it actually take you back to see it being glitchy like this or is it like distracting i don't know um again if i knew why this was happening i would fix it but uh, i think i gotta play around with my setup after today's video um let me clarify a few things okay geo effects a system which heavily influences battle man there's so many glitches uh take a good look at this colored panel Okay, it's red or blue. Enemy boosts 50%. Oh, we don't want that. An enemy's on a blue panel. Here's her attack will be powered up. Not good for you, so it's wise to get rid of this effect. You might be wondering, where does the power come from? Um, well, oh, you can rotate the camera? Didn't know that either. Oh, it comes from that geo symbol that was right in front of me the whole time. Yeah, it was hard to spot that. How obvious was that? The object's called Geo Symbol, and as long as it's in a colored panel, all the panels of the same color will be affected. Let's toss it somewhere else. Oh, interesting. I thought you were going to have to destroy it, but you pick it up and throw it. Huh, this actually does open up a lot of strategy, because then the enemy could pick it up and throw it back in at the same time. Um, so now enemies in the red zone are powered up. Huh. I wonder if you could just throw it totally out of both panels, or if it has to be in one or the other but yeah no they're all boosted interesting oh you can just destroy it <laughs> all right well that seems to be the better solution rather than just throwing it away all right she's gonna blow it up yeah to 
blank display the geo symbol. Remember that. Uh, now it's time to attack the prince. Attack. Execute. Okay, so you just... That's all you need to do. What the heck just happened? Oh, it damaged everyone. Oh! Huh! Well, that's kind of interesting too now, because it just... It damaged me, but it damaged all the enemies. So it's like you can take damage to damage others. That is interesting. Destroying a blue geo symbol will turn all the panels, which are the same color as the one it was on blue. Damage dealt to anyone. Okay, blah, blah, blah. No damage will be dealt if you destroyed a blue geo symbol panel on... Oh! Oh, you can build up your bonus gauge. Wait, I missed that. Can you destroy a thing when it's in the same color? Hmm. All right, this is all pretty complicated. Start off by destroying only the harmful geo symbols. Nullifying all the panels is for experts who understand the concept. This, this is cool. There, there's a lot of tactical stuff kind of squeezed in here. Anyway, okay, let's see if what. Oh my god. Oh! Whoa! It's like a checkerboard. Oh my god. So, what does this do? Uh, plus 50% hell to, th to the red squares. And this is plus 50% experience. Ooh. Plus 50% defense on the blue squares. Oh, really? So there's kind of no incentive to destroy any of these at the moment. So let's just go ahead and we want to be on blue squares. Go over here and attack Jasmine. Jasmine, the, the rogue demon. Uh, you go over here. You attack this one. Now let's bring out some pangus. One. Uh, I mean, I guess we will. I was gonna like sort of arrange them so that they were um, sort of being defended. You know, they were in a line and they could like help one another's attacks. But I think being on the square that gives you 50% bonus defense is probably better. So, all right, let's do this. Ah, die, die. Die! Hey, we killed one. Oh, yeah. I like how the penguins just have, like, a bunch of knives. They are vicious little guys. Oh, this guy didn't attack. Go ahead. Execute! Yeah! Okay. Um, I think that's it. End our turn. There's a bonus thing in the menu. I wonder what that's about. Oh, God. They're surrounding us. Total damage to seven, 11. Oh, they whipped him on the back. You monsters, you absolute monsters. Okay, that guy's on. I feel like we should kill that guy. Okay, so hold on. Let's kill the weak guys. Kill us. Move this guy over here and attack that dude. This guy over here. Attack. I want to kill like the strong guys. Wait, hold on. Move over here and attack. Yes, Rich <laughs> or Gremory. <laughs> Those are weird names. Uh, okay, let's move the weakened guy out. We're gonna move him. Hmm. How about this? This is kind of interesting. Move this guy over here to attack that guy. And then move the weakened guy way over here. But hopefully no one can get to him. Alright, is everyone doing something? This guy is not attacking yet. Oh, he is. Wait, is he? Huh. Or he already attacked. I I can't tell. Alright. Execute. Do your thing. Knifed him. Dead. Oh man, that guy's just on the hanging on to life by a thread. Nice. I wonder if later on you get projectiles and stuff like the guns and stuff that, that like girl had. Okay, ending our turn. Let's see what you got, enemies. Hey, one guy fell asleep. I don't know if you guys saw that, but the guy in the far right was sleeping. We heard him so bad he just needed a nap. I think that guy will just straight up die. There we go. 
I like how you can, uh, you know, do attacks, execute them, and then see what happens and plan the rest of your turn. Damn it, we lost video there again, too. Oh, man. Annoying. I feel like the PS2, honestly, is sort of the glitchiest system for me when it comes to recording. Like, I know I've recorded games before where, like, the sound is really crackly. And ultimately, I found out my PS2 was dying and I replaced it. And now I'm on a new PS2, but I kind of feel like this one's giving me graphical glitches. So I don't know if it's like my setup or it is actually like on the way out. So I don't know, guys. I don't know. Wait, why can this penguin not attack? Oh, he already attacked. Oh, you can attack and then move. That actually opens up even more possibilities. Wait, didn't I? Oh, crap. Hold on. Move. I can't move there. Can move over here? Here? I don't know. Wait, what does this thing do again? Grants bonus for killing enemies. We want that on. All right, whatever. Just execute the turn. Die. Oh, oh. I'm just going to end my turn. There's only one enemy left. We got it. The enemy is also being very stupid about standing. The red panels are totally the bad ones. Um, let's finally do a group attack again. Attack that guy. Execute. Oh yeah, double penguin! Boom! So that second penguin only does like two damage, so it looks cool to have them team up, but it doesn't necessarily like turn the tides of battle. But it still is kind of useful to have like a, a an allied unit who, you know, is just sort of standing there and wouldn't do anything otherwise contribute to battle. Also, presumably you could have multiple penguins all around that guy, all attacking different guys, and he would team up with all of them. So maybe you could pump out more than two points of damage from him. Like you could do four attacks around him and pump out eight. I don't know. Um, there must be some kind of tactical strategy to this. So anyway, you get to create characters who become your loyal pupils. Loyal pupils? That doesn't sound like a bad idea. Let's go. All right, so we got a handle on battle. Now we get to go to the Dark Assembly where we literally create life out of mana. You gain mana by defeating enemies. If you want, you can use mana right now to make a new character. A cleric might be useful for healing. A warrior or brawler might come in handy when attacking. Hmm. Do we want to heal? Or let's just go ahead and create someone. Who will address the assembly? Well, oh, Star has 10 mana. Wow, that's a lot. All right, Star will do it. So we will create a new character. Oh, we have some options here. That's kind of cool. We have Brawlers, Warriors, Red Skull. Huh, Green Skull, Blue Skull. We have Red Mages. Kind of cool. Cleric, Cleric. Oh, we can have a Hobbit. Hey, it's that, that guy. Hey, a Ghost. I like the Penguins. What if we make an all-Penguin crew? Be kind of interesting. Um, okay, so warriors have like a lot of hit points and a lot of attack and speed. I don't know what red skulls are supposed to be even, like necromancers or something and mages. Let's go with a cleric though. Why not? It might be nice tactically to be able to heal. So we can be good for nothing or incompetent. We can't be average. Oh, we need 50 mana. <laughs> Genius. 5,000 mana. All right, so I guess we'll be incompetent. Sure. And this will be how about Lisa. Lisa the cleric. Lisa. All right, Lisa, welcome to the team. We just created you literally out of no nothing. One bonus. Uh, let's make Lisa extra smart. There we go. Lisa's weapon mastery is a bag. Oh, no, it's... What is that? Gloves? Gloves, sword, spear, bow, <laughs> magnum, handgun, axe, and staff. I like how they're just straight up a gun. It's, uh, are, you sure, are we sure this isn't, uh, this is a Japanese game and it's not, you know, America? Uh, anyway, sure. Switch. Elemental resistance. Looks good. All right. All sounds good. Ooh, restores health. Uh, Lisa has been created. I feel like I'm in Westworld printing a person. Um, okay, does anyone else have any mana? I do. I could go ahead and let's create somebody else, man. Let's create a brawler. Brawler or warrior, what's the difference? Brawler has more hit points and does more damage. Oh, man. 
Oh, but he has less defense and intelligence. We're going Brawler. This guy's like a Kung Fu guy, I like that. Yeah, we're going with the Kung Fu man, and he's a good for nothing. Um, his name is Chet. Chet the Brawler. No, actually, that sounds too preppy. Hold on, I got a better idea. His name will be Zarg. Where's the G? Zarg the Brawler. All right, Zarg. Looks like Zar GG. Hold on, we gotta fix this. Delete, delete, delete. Okay, not, well, let's not get fancy with it. Zarg. Zarg the Brawler. Zarg has seen a lot of brawls in his day. Distribute the points. We need minus five. So, Zarg's gonna be really dumb. <laughs> he has one intelligence. He's, uh, he's, you know, hey, you guys, from Goonies. He's Slaw. He's Slaw's brother, Zarg. Zarg actually sounds even more badass. We should have made it even more ridiculous, but all right. Zarg is never learning an ability. Zarg can't even read. He's he's not even literate, okay? He's just here to punch people and eat uh, baby Ruth candy bars. Anyway, we've created life. What is the next stage in our journey? Hey, Prince, have you gone to the hospital? You should make sure you heal everyone. Uh, treatment may not be free, but please do it, dude. Hey, the zombie gave me money. 300 health points. Thank you, zombie. Okay. Heal you. Heal you. Heal you. Heal you. Everybody get It's free health care for all. All right. Now, let's see about armor and stuff. Um, actually, hold on. Let's see. Oops. I want to go to equip. Let's check out Lisa and Zarg here. So Zarg's wearing a wristband. And Lisa is also wearing a wristband. Uh, hold on. Show me Zarg's abilities. He has no mastery, so it doesn't really matter. I don't know what the difference between A and E is. But, uh... Okay. He's, he literally needs a weapon. She also needs a weapon. She has no masteries either. Um, oh, I guess she's good at the bow. That's the B. S might be even better. Staff. Okay, let's try and get some gloves for Zarg, and then a bow or a staff for the cleric. I like the idea of a bow, because then she would have, uh, range, you know? We get him a rock fist if we want. I think that's the best use of our money. These are way too expensive. Okay, so we will spend the extra... Four, I guess. And get him this. Dietitian and marksman. Yeah, I don't know what that does, but sure. Zarg, we bought you some brass knuckles, bud. Now we need... <laughs> we need a gun. We need a gun. Oh, man. It, hold on. Is any character even remotely competent with a gun? Because if so, I feel like we should just get them a gun. There's a C with a gun. A C with a gun. These guys, can they even use guns? I don't even think they can. <laughs> They're, it's impossible. They're penguins. What am I thinking? A D with a gun. And Zarg is an E with a gun. Zarg failed gunology. All right, no guns. Not yet. Okay, we wanted a bow or a staff. Let's see what these staves do. You run into the mill staff, ho-hum. Oh, it gives you like plus 10 intelligence. Which is staff. Hmm. Or a bow and arrow. Okay, let's do this. Let's start with, a, like, some basic bow that she can have. And then maybe we'll buy a staff later on when we get a gun. Hunter's bow is good. Um, next. Let's get a little bit of armor. So we'll just go with some baseball gear, I'm thinking. The basic, your basic baseball team <laughs> is what we're fielding here. Um... This thing gives you a bit more speed, which might be handy for Zarg. Oh, this one gives you intelligence. Okay, so that one will be for the cleric. You gotta look at these stats. So not not every baseball shirt's the same, guys. Okay, let's go with uh, this one. The one that gives Zarg a bit more speed. Custom rank up. I don't know what that does. Okay, equip uh, Zarg... He wants this one. 
And you want this one. There you go, Zarg. We equip we equipped you, bro. So she wants the hunter's bow and the protector. Alright. Oh, and you know what? We can actually save. Let's go ahead and save. Checking memory card. Go ahead. Save away. Alright, we're good. Playtime. Prince of the Netherworld. Alright, let's let's do like a couple more battles and then we'll probably have to wrap up soon. Um because you know this these RPGs take time and there's only so much we can do. I've added Veer's Castle to the list of available areas. So I do not know much about it. It's rumored. Blah blah blah. Alright, let's go. Let's let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. So I go to Vyre's Castle. Our first real mission, the Magnificent Gate. Start the story. Alright, stage start. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. Ooh, we got some ghosts. Oh, we're breaking into a castle. That's pretty cool. Oh my god, there's a red skull guy. Okay, those guys are all in like a red zone. So what does this say? Grants experience bonus for killing enemies on the affected panel. Raises sti oh, statistics significantly of enemies. Okay, if we destroy that, that should damage all the enemies. And then we can throw this on that. And then uh, we should get more experience from killing those enemies. I like this plan. I like it a lot. Okay, so first of all, Laharl. He's going to move over here. We actually no. Hold on. Take it back. Let's start with Edna. He's going to come over here and destroy this panel. It's Edna's primary task. Okay. Enemy boost times three. Yeah, let's destroy that. Right. Raises statistics significantly. Okay. And go ahead and do that. Boom. Oh, it didn't get destroyed. Okay. See, this is why this is why you know, we did this one at a time. I don't even know how much hit points that kind of thing has. All right, we did it. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, my God. It <laughs> has to go through every single square, eh? Okay. Damaging, damaging, damaging. All right, that was a, an awesome task that we just did there. Next... Uh, I don't know if penguins can pick stuff up, so we're going to bring in our cleric. Oh, she can't even move that far. She's too slow. Okay, hold on. Bring in Zarg. Yeah, Zarg, move over here. Zarg will lift that, and Zarg will throw it right there. Boom. All right, so now any enemies we kill in the yellow zone will give us just, like more experience. Sweet. Okay, now Lisa can move over here. I wonder if she can attack. No, she can't. So she does have a bow that will give her range, but I guess she can't go that far. All right, let's form a line of penguins. Our first line of defense is always the penguin. <laughs> oh, they even have a defensive mode. We should actually use that. I feel like I didn't use that the whole tutorial. Let's not be stupid here. Defend. Um... Defend and defend. All right. End our turn. So yeah, this will be like fun to like actually implement all the strategies that we have learned so far. Oh man, those penguins did hold the line. Um, you know, something I was reading about this game as we were kind of getting started or before we got started here today um, is that this game allowed you apparently. Oh, I can't attack from range. I don't understand does she have abilities is healing abilities okay well whatever we're just gonna keep her alive we don't really need her in battle um but zarg wants to get in on the the action hold on i'll tell you guys what i was reading about uh in a moment wait what did i just do hold on zarg move over here and then attack that guy. Okay, let's see what, what kind of damage Zarg does. Boom! Sucker punch! Zarg sucks! <laughs> he did nothing! <laughs> okay, how about this? It is time to, uh... To throw my dude into battle. Let's see here. Um, I'm gonna move him... Here. And then I'm gonna bring her up... Here. And she is going to lift Laharl and throw him 
right into the action. And he's just gonna straight up attack Uzo or Ballad. Um, I guess they are equally damaged. Okay. This guy will attack. This guy. Alright, let's execute what we've got so far and see what kind of happens. Alright, oh, I'm teaming up with a penguin, man. Didn't see that one coming, did ya? Oh, the penguin is- okay, so you can team penguins up multiple times. Okay, that's cool, good to know. And then... Um, I'll come up behind you and attack you, bro. Brosif. Garrosh, that is a badass name for a lost ghost. That's the, the name of the guy from Hearthstone, the, uh, the warrior, um, class. Okay, and our turn. I feel like this battle is going fairly well for us. Anyway, one of the things I heard about this game is that you can play the with the soundtrack for the uh, American or Japanese version of the game, which is kind of interesting. Um, I don't know enough about the soundtrack of this game to know why one would be preferable to the other, but it is kind of cool to implement that. And it kind of got me thinking about how when the PS1 first came out, I remember PS1 games. I mean, they looked good, you know. Um, but I mean, they, they didn't look as good as like a PS5 game does today, you know, like it still looks blocky and polygonal, um, sort of. And so it, I do remember, uh, it was kind of interesting when the PS1 came out because it was this thing of like games still looked a little polygonal, but they would literally have CD quality audio, you know, because like literally, um, literally they, uh, they're, they're, playing music from the PlayStation 1 CD-ROM drive. And that was like a big deal back in the day for the PS1 to have a CD-ROM uh, drive. You know, like think the N64 didn't have a CD-ROM drive. And that was one of the things that held it back. One of the reasons, you know, Final Fantasy uh, 7 or whatever never came out on the Nintendo uh, 64 when it came out on PlayStation. Previously, before that game, Final Fantasy had often been on Nintendo systems. Um, so, you know, it was like a big deal that uh, Sony had a, a CD-ROM drive. But yeah, I definitely remember. It's like you had these games. They looked good. They were very good looking for the time. But I would say the music felt like it was beyond the game because, you know, the, the games didn't look photorealistic. We all knew that. But here you have like literally the best music that we can produce. And like even today, like CD quality audio is like... You know, it's not it's not like we've gotten better audio very much since then. It's like, yeah, that's pretty much perfect music, you know? So it's like you could have uh, just just completely realistic music on a game that's still like very polygoned. Um, and uh, yeah, I always remember that. Oh my God. Oh, thank God I defended. Oh my God, I blocked every single one of their attacks. You guys are so feeble. The only thing I think this game is missing is some kind of bonus for attacking people from behind. You know, positioning should matter in that sense, I think. I think. Hey, look, you can jump up here. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, I want to see this cleric actually attack with her bow. So here we go. Okay, we finally can attack. So she can attack at range three. So let's attack Clara here. Let's just see what it looks like. Boom. All right. Explosive arrow to the back. Don't know what I was expecting. Um, we'll just come over here and do I have a special? Impaler, a jump attack that aims for an enemy's head. Oh man. Wait, I didn't know my guys have abilities. Blade Rush, the slices enemies in half. Oh, hello. Um, I don't think I need to bother with it on this guy who's already like half dead. We'll just attack flee. We'll start off small. And execute. Alright, a penguin has allied with me to attack Flea. Down he goes. Next. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Maybe I will back up a bit. Um, and I will attack this guy. Okay, execute. Oh, we actually can get... Oh, that's cool. So, you can get support from ranged units if they're behind you. So previously I thought you couldn't get support from units behind you, only units beside you. I guess when you get support, if the unit is touching you and they're at least one square away from being able to attack the enemy, then I guess they attack. That is kind of cool. Alright, what, what kind of mess we got going on in here? Um, okay, I don't have any special moves, so I'm just straight up going to attack this guy. Go ahead and execute. 
Oh, the penguin decided not to ally up with me on that one. Oh, I guess he uh, had already done his thing. Not 100% sure what's going on with this penguin. Um, okay. Stupid walls are in the way. It's kind of hard to see my enemies, actually. Um, that guy... Okay, let's come over here. Attack that dude. It's cute. Kill him, penguin! Almost. And who still is available to do anything? Is anybody? Can't tell. I think everyone's done. Oh, I can still move my guy though. Oh, I can move I can move and attack this guy. Okay. Well, let's move him over here. Or no. Oh no, I can't get to him. I want to attack this guy, but everybody else is in the way. Wait, can I move him? Yes, I totally can. Alright. Zarg is gonna draw them away. As What's this guy's name? Star goes in for the kill. I wonder if you can rename your guys later on. That'd be kind of cool. Execute. Dude. Knife. Let me get my knives out of my fanny pack and stabby stabby you. All right. I don't know if this is good positioning, but we just sort of like scattered after attacking the enemy so that hopefully they move in random directions to attack us. No, they're teaming up on my pay. Oh, no, it's the cleric. Oh, they killed the, the cleric. So, the unit that was meant to heal my other units is the first one to die. Makes sense. I don't think I positioned her very well to survive. But, I'm totally going to impale this guy. This guy... Hold on, I won't attack with him just yet. Let's just see what this does. Boom! Oh, we one-shotted him. Alright. I kind of want to kill this guy in the zone so we get more experience. So let's not kill him just yet. Let's instead... Hold on. Okay, uh, I want to attack with him. I want to attack Kamugi. And let's see what happens. Oh, we teamed up! I was going to move my guy to attack, but I decided to wait first. Huh, so it's like that guy, so this guy here teamed up with the other guy to help him attack. Now he can move and attack for himself. So there is a lot of tactical stuff you can do here. Because you can, because guys can technically attack two, three, four times in a turn if you move them around correctly. So I can only imagine, like once you understand all the mechanics of this, like you can create some pretty epic tactical sequences, I would imagine. Anyway, everybody's moving up here and going into a defense mode so that the enemy hopefully gets back into the yellow zone. Yeah, there you go. Come to your doom. Be prepared to be special moved to oblivion. Execute. Yeah. Impaled through the skull, bro. Man, have you ever had two penguins just go fucking nuts on you? Whoops, sorry. Man, I just dropped that hard F. I wasn't even thinking. I mean, surprise, surprise, I swear sometimes. But normally, like, when I'm making a video and stuff, I try and keep it, like, fairly PG. But that's funny. I'm just so into it. I'm like, man, he's going to get f up real bad. And we found an unopened drink. Cool. All right, we made it through the Magnificent Gate. We can go to the bless, Blessed Court. See, the, here's my question. Is my cleric still dead? Or can we revive her somehow? Wow. This is a pretty nice place. Ah, oh, that vase would sell for a lot. Oh, that Fool, that makes us petty thieves. I can't disgrace the name of Old Lord. I have to be impartial. And impartial? What? Plunder everything. Blah, blah, blah. All right, let's get to the next fight here. I'm ready. <laughs> like the penguin popped in. The penguins look like they're dudes sewed up in penguin suits, actually, now that I'm looking at it. A demon among demons. I wish you could actually skip these dialogues. Because, uh, you know, they're they're cute and amusing. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm like, yeah, I get it. Um, I just want to, I just want to, you know, fight. Hey, are those my guys? Wait. No, Kane. Wait, those are bad guys. Wait, what? Where's my cursor? Hold on. Akira! Interesting. All right, we got to fight our way through some ghosts. And then, oh my god, Lisa is dead. Oh my god, Zarg's gonna die. Okay, so you definitely need to um, plan a bit better than I did. I think I was being a little haphazard here. 
in what I did and the decisions I made that brought me to this point. Um, all right. Special. All right. Let's uh, go ahead and try it on this guy. Uh, oh, I have to dash forward. Oh, interesting. Okay, whatever. Um, do it. Oh, wow. That's a pretty cool attack. Oh, if there's a bunch of guys in the line, I could have killed them all. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. This is the kind of game I would definitely have gotten into. You know what's interesting is like, this is a tactical RPG, of course. You know, there's items and stores and all this other stuff. But honestly, like there's art, an RPG can be so many different things. You know, it can range from an from an MMORPG to something like this, where like, yes, it's an RPG, but there's it's so tactical. And like, for instance, I don't have to walk between battles. I just select the next battle, get a little bit of dialogue and then I'm there, you know, so I think this is a really, really neat game. It's it's almost more of a tactical than an RPG, I would say. What makes it an RPG is the fact that it has story items and stuff like that. But if you had a tactical game, you would probably still have items. You might even still have experience and stuff. And I don't know if that just means tactical games are becoming RPG-like, or if it's not really a tactical game, it's actually an RPG game or what. But uh, long story short, I like what's going on in this game here. Oh my God. Everyone teamed up on this one. Boom. No, oh, everyone teamed up on this one, too. A thousand penguins teamed up to kill you, bro. You ever have a bunch of penguins just go effing nuts on you? <laughs> All right. All right, so this will be our last combat uh, today. Um, either we will go down in a blaze of glory and teach them what it means to tango with Jay, Jay the human, <laughs> Gaming Jay. Oh my god. Okay, I am also human. Jay the human. Um, that's actually really funny. Um, you know what's funny is a handful of times over the course of the last five years I've messed up my name. I've called myself Jay the Game. Jay the Game, I remember I called myself once. One time we were trying to enter our name and it wouldn't go in and we ended up as Gaming Ed. Um, I think I was trying to type gamed or something and... Yeah, I don't know. We were gaming Ed for a while. Gaming Jay, Jay the game, gaming Ed, and now Jay the human. So that's how you can tell people about my channel, you guys. You'd be like, I'm watching this new guy. He's called Jay the human. Pretty good. Pretty good. You can check him out. <laughs> He's human, as the title suggests. I don't know. Um, but anyway, this will be the last, uh, the last battle that we do here in the game here today. Um, honestly, you know, like, I honestly dragged my feet a little bit. Uh, before sitting down to play this game here today because I know sometimes like RPGs and stuff can be like a big commitment and like um, You know sitting down and spending like two or three hours playing a game I mean like, you know, some channels do that and some people do that I typically spend like I just spend like half an hour to an hour playing a game That's my sweet spot and I like sort of retro games and stuff that are condensed enough that I can do that um, since we're on this quest to try the thousand and one games, sometimes I feel bad when we play like big sprawling games, you know, like uh, Oblivion or something like that. Have we played Oblivion or I don't know, Baldur's Gate, you know, big games like that. Games that I know you're supposed to play over like days and weeks. You know, we play it for like maybe an hour and a half, which is stretching it for us. And sometimes I feel like, you know, I, I drag my feet for playing those games because I sort of think oh, I'm just not going to do a very good job of it. I'm not going to see all the stuff it has to show and I know I'm just going to sort of wet my beak with it and you know it just is what it is just I don't have the time to make uh, eight hour videos for any of these games frankly I mean you know I have a job and a life and stuff unfortunately um so it's the best I can do um but you know I still feel a little bummed I can't do a better job sometimes and I feel like I'm slacking so I did drag my feet for this one because I knew it was an RPG and I was worried that I wouldn't do a very good job. And you know what, frankly, maybe I didn't. I didn't get very far in the game, so maybe I didn't. But what I do feel like I experienced is a lot of the core that this game has to offer. I know we're in the very early stages and this game could get way more tactical if you played it for longer, but I really like um, what, I, what I'm seeing uh, so far. Oh, if we could do a special attack, that would just awesome oh my god we're all bunched up here 
Um, okay, how about... Let's see if we can just kill one guy and get out of this. The Impaler. Okay. Oh, it's she's obstructed. Okay, here we go. On this guy? On this guy? Oh, wait! Okay, hold on. Move this guy back. But for the Impaler, you have to have a free space behind you. That's kind of cool. Kind of cool that the special moves have sort of like tactical requirements. Okay, so I th think it's hard to decide who I'm attacking here. Okay, let's just see if that works. Yeah. Boom! Right on the old Skullski. On the guy still alive. Oh, but I bounced back. Oh, wow. There's so much tactics in this game. This is really cool. It's it's uh, really neat that, uh, you know, this game has so many tactical options and stuff. Um, I really like this game. I, you know, what I thought was going to happen was I might not necessarily do the best job with it. We might not get far enough, but I feel like I've experienced enough of the game to, to be able to see what's cool about it, to know that it's, uh, oh, whoa, what's happening? Oh, she's attacking too. Oh, we're all attacking. How did that happen? Oh, and then we leveled up. We leveled up, man. Okay. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do a dash attack. Uh... Oh, I cannot. Wait, what? Oh, here we go. Uh, we go. Oh, I can't. Ugh. So I still don't. That guy's name's Love. I still don't understand how to do all the special moves. But anyway, I think this is a really cool game. There's tons of tactics here. There's tons to explore. Um, I don't remember liking the second one as much as I'm liking this one today. Maybe I was just stupid back then, or maybe I did love it and I don't remember. But yeah, like, uh, if this, the, first, the second one is anything like this, it's a great game. Everyone should play it. Everyone who likes tactical games should, at least. Um, <laughs> I love the stare of those penguins, just the dead eye. You know, those penguins are going to F you up, man. Yeah, I don't know what's happening, why I keep getting so many combo attacks, but this is sweet. Somehow I hacked the game and I'm better than I realize. Now let's end our turn. Let's see if we won. So... Yeah, we'll see this combat through, but I can already say this is a cool game. I like it. One of my guys just got killed. I think it was the brawler guy. That sucks. It seemed to me that every time the brawler got into a fight, um, I was getting like double attacks. So maybe that's like the ability of the brawler class or something. Quite cool. Um, you come over here. You attack this guy. Execute. Oh yeah, two penguins and a girl, you're gonna get screwed. Yo, if your front door gets kicked in, and there's two guys in penguin suits and a, a scantily clad woman, you know, and they're brandishing weapons at you, get the hell out of there. Take it from me. <laughs> if two dudes in a penguin suit and a, a scantily clad woman bust down your door, man, you, you just grab what you can and you run. You don't look back either. You don't look back. You will get messed up, man. People in penguin suits don't play. Um, attack, boom, execute. Look, he has double knives. Dudes in penguin suits are just bad news all around. Yeah, I think the brawlers like counterattack and stuff. I don't know. There's stuff going on here I don't fully understand, but you know what? It's all good. I like it. Oh, two penguins are getting in on it now, bro. Oh my God. Penguins also carry high explosives. That's what this game has taught me so far. This guy's coming down. He's going to kill a penguin, isn't he? We'll, we'll, we'll uh, go to town and see if we can revive people just before we, like, fully equip. But, uh, you know. Um, all right. Special move this guy. The Impaler. Oh, I don't have enough stuff. I don't even know what I was using to use my special abilities. So, whatever. Um, move. You come over here. I want to have three penguin or two penguins and a girl kill this guy. All right, bro. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, it's only two. See, sometimes it's two, sometimes it's three. I don't 100% know. Oh, maybe the girl, if she's behind, she can join in on the attack. I don't know. Anyway, we'll just have this penguin attack solo. Or maybe the other penguin will join in. Oh, he will. <laughs> I love those death stairs. They're great. Yay, we did it. We survived. We're not trash with this game. We got a killing bonus. Ooh, we got bonus experience. Okay, so we would die if we went there. So now we go to exit. 
let's just see how this game works here. So first of all, let's go to the hospital. We gotta we gotta bring some people back from the dead. Good thing we're in the nether world. Um it only costs one hit point. Wait, one HL to revive this guy? That is the cheapest revive in the world. Lisa's 36. This guy's 88. Huh. One, one. Interesting. Uh, we should heal everybody up, I guess. And, okay. Wonder if we can create more people. Ooh. Everybody has mana. So we can just go and, like, promotion exam. Test characters for demon rank promotion. Raise military funds. So if you wanted, go ahead and create a whole new person. Anyway, we're not going to go through all that here today because we are just wrapping up. But I will save my game in case I decide to come back and play this sometime because, um, yeah, I like this. Uh, we will save over this. Go ahead. All right, data has been saved. Um, so let's go back over here and they select where you like to go. Oh, yeah. So you can go back and heal between battles. I like this, guys. So, I mean, you know what? There's nothing wrong with RPGs like Baldur's Gate or, you know, all the other ones. We have to, like, walk around maps and explore the world and stuff. But this is just another kind of RPG, and it, it, it is neat to think about how broad the RPG genre is. This is the kind of RPG where you literally you just go to a warp zone and you select your next battle. So it really, like, heavy on the tactical for tactical RPG. This is really a battle RPG. The RPG system is like, are you going to upgrade your units and their abilities? But, like, a lot of the game is, like, moving your pieces around a board, like a, like a chessboard, and, like, deciding, like, who should I attack and in what sequence and, like, evaluating the terrain and stuff. Like, this is a really neat game. Um, I like it more than I thought I was going to. Uh, sometimes with Japanese JRPGs, there's a lot of walking around, talking to NPCs, you know, like unlocking your grandpa's shed and then he gives you a glove and you go to a carnival and you got to watch a cut scene. None of that. I mean, this game does have some mandatory dialogue here and there, but most of the game is like very tactical and I really like that. So as far as if you like tactical games, you know, I would almost say like if you like war and battle games, like military games, more than RPG games. This isn't actually an RPG for you, oddly enough. If you like traditional RPGs, this may be more battle and less RPing than you want in your G. So at the end of the day, I think this is a great game. Um, I really want to go and look up what I thought of the second one actually now, uh, now that we're actually playing this one. But uh, maybe I'll do that after I finish recording here today. Um, but yeah, um, what do you guys think? Wait, where'd my cursor go? Oh, there it goes. What do you guys think of uh, Disagi here? Is it a game that you knew back in the day? Is it a game that you've played? Do you agree with my assessment? Do you think it is awesome and cool? Or, you know, do you have other thoughts or opinions? Uh, do you, if you do have memories, if you did play this back in the day, the day, do you have tips and tricks and strategies and all sorts of stuff that you could share with us? Whatever the case may be, sound off on the comments down below. And as always, guys, whatever you think of this game, whatever you think of my assessment of the game, hopefully today was fun and interesting for you. If it was, don't forget to like the video and all that stuff, all the good YouTube stuff. Leave comments, slap likes all over the place, share the video on all your Instagrams and Twitters and all that crap that Twitter that uh, YouTube wants me to say. <laughs> and uh, I hope you guys did have fun. Um, I will catch you guys in the next video. So until next time, my friends, you take care of yourselves. And peace. This gay, yeah.